Hi everyone, today um, I will be unboxing the latest uh, still battery product which is the GTA 26. This is the world's smallest chainsaw. It's super cute and I've been waiting for a long time to get this uh, which is about half a year and finally I got my hands on this. Okay, so let's open this. So, from the rest of the box, okay, uh, you can see, it shows you what's inside. Alright, it's got all the instructions of, um, not instructions, but it's got all the diagram of the, you know, the pruner, the battery, the charger, what it looks like, what it looks like, okay, even before you open it. Um, how to insert the battery, the battery dock, and the battery itself, and um, yeah, the sides of this here, not much, pretty plain. Back of it here comes in a few languages of what this product is, and of course, as the product in English, as what it says here. It is a cordless garden pruner. How do you open it up? Is it has got this is a flap to open it. So this product retails at two hundred and fifty dollars Australian. Uh, I got this from my local steel dealer in Jibang. The details in the links below. They are an awesome team servicing uh, me for all my. Uh, tool support from petrol to battery. So here we go. Ta-da! So this is the case that uh, carries the pruner. Okay, very nifty. I'm going to put the box away. And so um, what happens is, uh, yeah, you carry this wherever you go. This is very similar uh, packaging style to the HSA25 which I have reviewed before and I'm still using it so um, yep okay it's easy carrier case there's a top handle over here this is the carrier case okay the handle very sturdy very good for carrying and holding and now let's open up and see what's inside so as you can see when you open it up when I open up the case, you see the pruner here, you see the instructions manual. Um, inside has got the oil okay, for lubricating the chain. It has got the battery here. All right. And then there is the charging dock. So let's see how this thing runs. But let me talk more about the pruner. So what you do is to take this pruner out like this. And it slides out. Oh, it, oh it's pretty heavy actually. I don't know how heavy this is. This is this feels very comfortable. Um maybe about two kilos or so. And now uh, where's the chain? Uh actually I'm gonna reveal it right now. Ta-da! Oh, ta-da! <laughs> the cutest chainsaw cover I have known. It's almost toy-like. That like she used in the the yeah, the toy chainsaws. I'm sure it's the same cover, but it's super cute. So, back to the pruner. Okay, what this does is that there's a trigger here. This is the safety switch. So in order for it to work, you need to lift this and press the trigger in order it to run okay down here this is the battery light indicator so when you press it it's supposed to light up this is the tensioning not really a tensioning it's like the clutch cover okay so what happens is um, if you want to clean it you want to oil it you just turn it and then you open it up and there you have it. So this is the sprocket. This is like the 
tensioning nut, but it's not really a tensioning nut, it's just a nut that holds the, the clutch cover here. Okay, this is the bar and this is a chain. So, yeah, if you want to take it out to clean, you just do that. There's no real like tensioning system, it just fits snugly onto it. And, um, yeah, you can see what I'm doing here. Hopefully, you can see it. All it does is it just fits right into the sprocket and that's it and then what you do is when you want to use it you take the oil okay this oil over here and then you just open it up and then oil oil the chain so I'm not going to do it now um, because uh, I haven't already opened it yet but uh, that's what you're supposed to do. Now this thing has got the multi oil bio. Uh, I was told you can use the regular chip bar oil as well. Um, yeah, I've got lots of that so just fill that in and that's what I'm going to use. So keep this back where it, it is, where it belongs. What else we've got to look at is um, yeah, let's put the cover back and let's see how it runs. Give it a test and I'll talk more about the battery in a bit. So, how do I put this back? Here it is. Okay, so it takes a bit of fumbling. I'm still not, I'm still completely like new as you can see. That's why I'm fumbling around. Not really knowing how to put it back properly. Okay, so I'm supposed to torque it or something like that and then spin it down to tighten it. Just finger tight it will do go that's how you close it um, then this is supposed to be some safety thing so that you don't slice your hand off it's got all the safety warning indicators like you know read the manual eye protection put two hands on it uh, don't know what this is keep it out of the rain and this is battery it's a QR code too so by right it's supposed to hold on to this press the lift to this uh, safety switch, okay, either you right handed or left handed so it goes both ways and then trigger and so put your hand over the, you know, this, this this cover thing but ideally what I want this for is actually to prune branches and um, I'll do a demonstration of it in the next video so let's get this thing on the road and this battery is really feeling different from the HSA25 it's bigger, it's heavier so it should be the same one as the other product that's coming out called the HSA26. Um, yeah, I don't know when that is going to show, but um, definitely need another battery because from other reviewers, it keeps saying that you only can have a runtime of seven minutes, which is definitely not enough for me. Um, yeah, let's see. So what you need to do is just turn it around, okay, like so. Put it, fit it in to okay, the gap correctly, snap it on, press it, see it's a light indicator and then we turn this, just lift this up, okay I'm going to keep my fingers away from the bar, please be very careful this chain is really sharp, so cute, look at how this chain goes. I can imagine doing a lot of damage with this little baby. So um, yeah, uh, I think that's all for today for this little review, unboxing review. And um, okay, catch you in the next video. Bye.